a lot of people would would say that you're simply taking a page out of the Donald Trump uh, Probably book. Like which people would say that? Well, I'm sure a great many Canadians, but like who? <laughs> I don't know who, but. Well, you're the one who asked the question, so yeah. you must know somebody. <laughs> okay. Hello, all you beautiful 153,000 subscribers and newbies who might be watching for the first time. If so, this is going to be a good one. Things are looking grim up north, where you have Justin Trudeau attacking peaceful Canadian truckers as Nazis, while also literally giving a standing ovation to actual Waffen-SS Nazi. Obviously, it's extremely upsetting that this happened. So now in comes this guy, Pierre Polyev, who's been the Conservative Party leader in Canada, is known for standing up to leftists, and whose party is polling higher than little Castro's, and with four in 10 Canadians saying he should be the next prime minister. This has, of course, made him enemy number one of the leftist state media in Canada, but I don't think he gives a shit. In terms of your sort of strategy currently, you're obviously taking the populist uh, pathway. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> ap appealing appealing to people's uh, more emotional levels, I would guess. Um, I mean, what certainly, mean certainly, you, certainly you tap, certainly you tap uh, very strong ideological language quite frequently. Like what? Uh, <laughs> left wing, you know, this and that, right wing, you know, I mean, it's that, that type I of ideological never talk about, I never really talk about left but or right. Anyways, a lot I don't of really believe in that. Okay. <laughs> I love how he's eating the apple. A lot of people would, would say that you're simply taking a page out of the Donald Trump uh, Probably book. Probably like which people would say that? Well, I'm sure a great many Canadians, but... Like who? <laughs> I don't know who, but... Well, you're um, the one who asked the question, so yeah. how, you must know somebody. Stop! Stop! He's already dead! <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sure there's some out there, but anyways, the, the point of this the point of this question is. Ah, uh, okay. So this far left hack reporter is going to use this tactic where he injects his own views by attaching them to some nebulous group that's supposedly saying it, but isn't. U.S. media does this all the time too. But I also love how he accuses Poiliev of using quote emotional ideological rhetoric because he calls out the left wing again. Don't both Canadian and U.S. media, along with left-wing politicians, constantly, endlessly fearmonger about the right-wing, the far-right, and the coveted hard-right? Some in the ultra-conservative wing of the Republican caucus. House Freedom Caucus, which is the f sort of far-right, ultra-conservative wing. And the Freedom Caucus, that ultra-conservative faction. A small group of ultra-conservative Republicans deny McCarthy the speaker's gavel. Hard-right factions of the GOP. Hard-right-wing conservative. The Ultra conservative, never Kevin Caucus. He's leading what could be the most right wing and religiously conservative government in the country's history. A coalition described as the most extreme right wing in the country's history. What is being called the most right wing government, the most far right in the country's history. Far right conspiracy theorists. It's some of those far right members. Far right former President Jair Bolsonaro. The targeted group's ideology is similar to that of far right groups here in the U.S. Far right threat inside the United States. What this man had was a uh, very far right viewpoint. You'll never hear these people do the same thing with left wing, which is why this guy is treating it like some sort of partisan slur. He's just making up straw men as he goes in a clumsy attempt to somehow attach Donald Trump to this guy without ever explaining what exactly he's doing like Donald Trump other than hilariously taking down state media flunkies. Not even Donald Trump can do this while eating an apple. Maybe eating some McDonald's, which now that I'm thinking about it would be freaking awesome. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.